In this video, we are going to talk about whether you should settle your debts or invest your money first. If you or someone you know is carrying a lot of debt and isn't sure how to use their money to clear it in the best way possible so that they can save more money, then you've come to the right place. By the end of this video, you'll learn about the advantages and disadvantages of both approaches and understand how one approach just might be the better option for you. Welcome back, Money Masters! It's another Wealthy Wednesday, where we open the kimono and reveal the secrets that the wealthy elites have been using for decades to generate massive amounts of passive income through entrepreneurship and investing. As we mentioned earlier, today we are going to be talking about whether you should settle your debts or invest your money first, and we're going to help you learn about the advantages and disadvantages of both approaches and understand how one approach just might be the better option for you. But before we dive in, I just want to let you know that on Friday, we will be discussing the 2022's best bad credit, credit cards with 10,000 balance limits. So if you don't want to risk missing out on that episode, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you can be notified of our next amazing video. Okay, with all that said, if you are like us and are totally committed to obtaining financial independence, then go ahead and tap that like button and let's get into it. Now, I think it's fair to say that being able to pay off your debts and investing your money and turning a profit are both very tantalizing options. Chances are, you would not want to pass up the chance to do both if it was presented to you. However, you just can't have your cake and eat it. Sometimes, you just don't have enough money to do both so you'd end up at a crossroads and you'll have to pick. In that case then, it's vital to start thinking about what you would rather do between the two of them. Keep in mind the importance of this choice because this could potentially make or break your finances. But don't worry, this is where we come in. We are going to discuss the pros and cons of paying off your debts versus using your money to invest instead. Before discussing why, we think it's better to invest your money over paying your debts in most cases. Prioritizing your emergency fund first before even thinking of taking your funds and doing anything as major as paying off your debts or investing your money, you need to make sure that you have a good financial foundation of around 3-6 to six months of emergency funds. That'll keep you stable and fed in the meantime. Besides, you won't even be able to invest or pay off your debts if anything bad happens to you and you end up having to use your hard-earned cash to recover from it, effectively bringing you back to square one. If you haven't started yet, Begin building up your emergency fund by taking out a portion of whatever money you earn every month and putting it into your savings or emergency funds account. You can do it using automation or by hand. The accounts you deposit your funds into can also serve as your accounts for your savings. You can do this however you want. The most important thing is that these funds are going to be put in there and they're going to stay there until you need money for any surprise expenses. If you'd like a bit of guidance on how to build up your emergency fund, we recommend our video on 4-step saving goals that'll help you figure out and start achieving your financial goals. Why you should pay off your debt first The biggest risk involved with carrying debt is the fact that debt is money that you've already spent and that your lender is charging you interest on. The longer it takes for you to pay off your debt, the higher the price you pay in the end becomes because interest compounds and follows a snowballing effect as time goes on. With that said, taking measures to directly combat that threat gives you several compelling advantages. What is arguably the biggest advantage that comes with this is the amount of money in your monthly income that gets freed up when you start to pay off your debt. This benefit also follows its own snowball effect. When you manage to pay off one debt, the money that's freed up by it can be used to pay off your other outstanding debts even faster. This benefit can also be felt if your debt carries a very high interest rate, such as with credit card debt. A look at Investopedia's credit card database of more than 300 cards reveals that the average credit card interest rate is around 19.62% as of August 2022. When you have an interest rate that high, it can be exceedingly difficult to catch up even if you make the right investments. 
Another particularly good reason to pay your debts first is that it will help increase your credit score. As we've discussed in previous videos, such as our videos on credit cards and debt consolidation, your credit score can play a pretty large role in your finances, especially if you want to borrow money in the future for things like for a new house or a new car. Why? Because your credit score is a number that communicates to potential lenders how dependable you are as a borrower. A low credit score will result in lenders giving you higher interest rates on their loans and also negatively affects the chances of you finding a willing lender in the first place. It can also affect other financial obligations such as the premiums you pay for insurance and how much you pay for rent. It can even affect your chances of finding a job. One of the biggest factors affecting your credit score is your credit utilization ratio which indicates how much of your credit limit you're using. Keeping it below a certain percentage would help increase or maintain your credit score. If you are currently buried in debt and your credit cards are either maxed out or use more than our recommended 30% of their credit limit, then that alone is reason enough to pay off those debts as soon as possible. Psychological advantages also have some sway in your decision here. If those debts you're carrying are the biggest stressors in your life at this moment, then it might be better to pay off your debts because the psychological relief you get may be just what you need to get back into the swing of things. If you feel like paying off your debts is the way to go for you, don't hesitate to let the other people in the comments know. But remember to stay civil. We all want to have a good and insightful conversation about this topic. With that said, let's move on and present that case for the other option, investing your money. Why you should invest your money instead Now, investing your money into different instruments and investment vehicles like stocks, bonds, or mutual funds is a way to make your money work for you. These gain value over time and are a way for you to counter inflation. The main benefit to investing your money compared to paying off your debts is that when your debts don't cost you much in interest, it makes much more sense to invest your money. The potential returns from interest from investments could far exceed the interest rate of the debts that you're currently shouldering, leaving you debt-free with a tidy profit in hand. Let's have an example to illustrate this. Say you took out a low interest loan, like a mortgage, to buy a house. The interest rate for that loan is sitting at around 7%. It wouldn't be that much of a problem if you paid that off gradually with a portion of your normal income, but if you instead decided to invest in a stock market index fund, which on average has a return of 11% every year, then you're going to come out on top debt-free with a 4% profit on your investment just by investing your extra cash in that index fund rather than paying down your mortgage. There are also some other investment vehicles that you can put your money into that'll guarantee an interest rate that can rival or exceed your current loan's interest rate. Examples of this are bank certificates of deposit, government bonds, and treasury bills. However, there is always a concern about whether the investments you're making will actually turn a profit. Investment vehicles that may have a 10% positive return on investment last year may have a 10% loss on investment this year, all because of the volatility of stocks. One more thing that you'll need to consider is your risk tolerance. Investing, in general, has an inherent amount of risk to it. Prices fluctuate daily, so that can add some level of stress to your day and may cause you to bow out early, possibly with losses due to your risk tolerance being low. What's our verdict? Now, if you ask us, we think that as long as you feel like you can earn enough interest on your money through investments to beat the interest your debt accrues in the same amount of time, you should 100% invest your money and try to gain a sizable profit good enough to clear your debts and leave you richer than before. While there's a guaranteed return when you work to pay off your debts, there are ways to increase the likelihood that you'll be able to make enough money from investing to clear your debts. For example, diversification of your portfolio and investing in both conservative and aggressive financial instruments. Of course, when there are high interest debts involved, you should consider whether investing is worth it then. However, there are ways to mitigate those interest rates. Debt consolidation can help with just that. Once you've combined all your debt into a loan or credit card with low interest rates, you'll have a lot of room and time to make investments that'll make a return big enough to clear your debt. What about combining approaches? 
While we think that investing your money is the way to go if you had to choose one approach only, combining both approaches would be the best option. By paying off high interest debts and then investing the rest of your funds to make a return and pay those lower interest debts, you'll be able to get the best of both worlds. So that's all we have for you in this video. We hope you learned some very helpful insights from what we've shared with you today. Please don't forget to leave a like on our video if it was able to help inform and positively influence your financial decisions and lifestyle. And leave a comment down below about how you feel like this video will help you boost your overall income. Also, if you love our content, subscribe for more Money Masters content and updates and so that you don't miss out on our next episode of Finance Friday where we will be discussing 2022's Best Bad Credit credit cards with $10,000 balance limits. Also, we'd like you to consider sharing this video with at least one friend. It would mean the world to us if you would join us in our mission of helping good people like you keep more of what they earn and earn more from what you keep. That'll be all from us in this video, Money Masters. We'll see you in the next video.